On the NUI Galway campus, signs everywhere of the difficult balancing act for the third level sector. This is the concourse in NUI Galway, a place familiar to thousands of students who've studied here over the years. On the first day of the new academic term, it would usually be bustling with hundreds of people. Today, it's empty. The library's still open, but a lot would have just stayed at home because they just wouldn't have seen the benefit in coming here. For the small number of students on campus today, mixed views regarding online learning. Those starting on their college careers know no different and seem to be amenable. It feels normal because we, like, we were doing online stuff for months. So because, like I said, I don't know any different, it just doesn't feel different. So it won't be that hard to wrap my head around. But of course, I'm not used to um, on-campus lectures, so it's hard for me to know how it will go. But for students with a year or two of university life under their belts, the contrast between what was the case and what now is the case is clearly apparent. We're so used to big lecture halls and, you know, asking professors questions right away or interacting with other engineers, kind of just going to tutorials. It's very different. I think it is more difficult, especially just because engineering anyway is very much you get you talk to other people and that's how you get the work done is helping each other out and I think that's definitely more difficult, yeah. The university says it will adhere to public health advice in the coming months but there's general consensus that initial upheaval at this stage in the academic year cannot endure indefinitely. I think from our perspective it would be very difficult to be uh, one step in and one step out again every couple of weeks. So I think one way or another, I think after the first couple of weeks, government we would like government to be making a call that would be a bit longer term than that. Pat McGrath, RTE News, Galway. Well, last week, the Minister for Higher Education asked colleges and universities to deliver lectures remotely for the next two weeks, if at all possible. And here to talk about the complexities of doing that is Dr. Patricia Mulcahy, President of Carlo IT. Thanks for joining us this evening. We heard today some universities having IT crashes as they start to deliver lectures remotely. Is remote learning going to be possible? Are you set up for it here? Well, we've been planning and preparing since the 12th of March for this time. Um, a tremendous amount of work has been carried out since the 12th of March, not just on health and safety, which of course is paramount. And as you said, you can see the evidence of that right across our campus here in Carlow, but also in our Wexford campus. Um, but in addition to the health and safety protocols and measures that have been put in place, a lot of work has also gone into um, uh, strengthening our digital infrastructure in preparation for the online part of the hybrid learning model that we're going to be delivering uh, this year. So at this point in time, um, you have caught us, I suppose, midway um, in our two-week orientation program. So last week, we would have, on a staggered basis, brought in our returning students who know us quite well, but nevertheless, they're coming into a new environment, and that face-to-face -face orientation gave us the opportunity to introduce them to all the new technologies and the new environment that they're going to be operating in. And how in. do you think they're going to find it? Well, I was talking to a few of them, so it's all quite anecdotal. I'm sure we'll carry out the formal surveys in time, um, but certainly it's very positive. I think the students are a little bit taken aback, first of all, by the different environment, and you know, but they have cooperated really well with the health and safety measures, um, and uh, they're very happy to be back on campus, very happy to be back in full-time higher education. Dr. Patricia Mulcahy from a very quiet uh, Carlo IT campus. Thanks for speaking to us this evening. And that's